Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Unhuntables with myself and Grossy. Oh, not Grossy, Grossy Coin Hunts. Grossy, Grossy <laughs> Coin Hunts. Hello. You want to say hello? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, today we are hunting through 20p coins. It is 20p, isn't it? 20p's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we, we, we go through the often nominations uh, once a fortnight going through them all. Um, and today's the 20p's. You can look in the description to all the dates and things that we're looking for, not just for the 20p's, but the other denominations we also do as well. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll find an NIFC or an undated one, but uh, we'll have to wait it? and see. We've been doing this, doing this for quite a while, haven't we? Oh, we've been doing it for over two years, two, two years, two months. Can you believe that? It's bonkers, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. bonkers. Unbelievable. But uh, we, we've just recently got back from a recent, recent, recent <laughs> Royal Mint trip. Our last one of the year, isn't hasn't it been? Recently got back from a very recent, recent Royal Mint trip. Yeah, did you have fun <laughs> on our recent Mint trip? <laughs> Doesn't sound like a word anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was great fun meeting Santa. Uh, the Royal Mint always do a great job at Christmas time. Uh, decorations look great. Um, probably one of the better Christmas tours I've been on. Um, yeah, I was going to say that yeah. the tour was very different from other Christmas tours. I mean, uh, Christmas is not the time to go if you are only interested in the sort of numismatic uh, uh, side of the Royal Mint. It, it's very much done up for kids to go to Santa's Grotto and meet Santa and all these all these things. But uh, yeah. this year, they've hired actors to play characters like Jack Frost and Mrs. Claus and um, te telling a sort of story uh, and or the, the, the naughty little elf as well. That, yeah. Was that an elf that took at the start? I, f I forget now. I think so. Yeah, no, uh, but no, really, <laughs> really well done. And again, it, it's it, it, there was a there was enough sort of adult humour that we can, we enjoyed ourselves very much as well. Yeah, no, I thought it was great. Yeah, and of course, uh, always always good fun uh, to meet subscribers, viewers, other people that make videos. Um, we have a great time there. But um, it, it seems that there, there might be a bit of a change in the new year at the Royal Mint experience. Yeah, I've um, heard about we this, go... but I don't know. I haven't really followed along with what's actually happening there. It's not very clear at the moment. So the reason I go down for the Royal Mint trip, um, and many people pop to the Royal Mint for, is to get the Strike Your Own Coin. As part of the tour, you get to strike your own coin, and it changes throughout the year. So it is currently the Snowman 50p, if you haven't been already. Um, and when it changes, we go back down and get the next one. But uh, it seems like they're going to be taking a pause in the new year. I've heard conflicting reports as to there will be a Strike Your Own for in January, and then they're going to close it down february until the spring for some sort of big revamp oh. um but potentially we'll be doing the royal mint uh, exhibit uh, the royal mint exhibition as a guided tour um now right. whether that includes getting a strike your own as part of it i'm not entirely sure but what i think this is is a whole change in the coin press room mm. um as we know that they're, they're going to be they're going to stop doing world coins they're going to be massively reducing the amount of uk circulating coins that are produced but they don't need to leave that space all wasted so it seems that they're going to be doing something else in that space in addition to striking circulating coins for the uk which again would be quite exciting to see if they are if, if that is what happens we'll just have to wait and see i suppose time will tell yeah imagine we get to see some like silver proofs and bunk coins being struck Boring. That'd be kind of exciting. <laughs> what? Well, well, exciting because it's something new that you could think, only currently see yeah. if you go on a VIP tour. <laughs> That's true. I think it would be fun the first time. To be honest, I'd say the coin press room. It was fun the first ten times going to see the coins being struck, but after that, you know, the novelty of that has worn off for me. I suppose. I don't know, I like getting on the factory floor and that time we got to walk right to oh, the yeah, end. Don't get me wrong, we were... like that, that was exciting because then that was novelty. But just the view you get from the window, I, yeah. yeah, when you've seen that like 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it would be fun, fun to see what they do. Would you still go, no, I think, if they do exhibition I, tours, would you still go if they don't do a strike your own? Um, um, maybe, <laughs> purely because it's it's different. It'd be interesting to see someone do a guided tour of yeah. the exhibition. I'd probably say to do it once or twice, but it'd be interesting to see if they point anything out that we've missed all the time that we've been walking around. That's true. But yeah, the, the revamp, could it could be a change up of the exhibition. Someone else uh, that we know has suggested maybe they're going to take us to different parts of the Royal Mint as part of that tour. I'm not quite sure what they could, where they could take us in that short amount of time yeah. um, that the tour lasts for. 
but um, no, I'm hoping, hope, hopeful that it'll be it'll be an exciting change because again, lots of us that go down um, more frequently than others, it would be nice to have a real revamp. Although, like you said, after the third or fourth time of doing the revamp tour, even that will get uh, old news. But no, um, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, we do have some exciting releases coming out imminently. Uh, we've got the Giant Deer, which is the final instalment in the uh, Ice Age Giants uh, series. Have you seen, have you seen the have image s- of that I yet, have seen it. Yeah, that whole series seems to have just sort of whizzed by, and I haven't really been able to keep up. It's sort of all of a sudden it's come and gone. Um, yeah. Yeah, the designs, they looked they looked good. I didn't have any particular comments, for better or for worse, about them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean, I quite like, again, I've highlighted it before, that the Silverproof Without Colour has a mintage limit of 500, which is unbelievably low really? for a Silverproof 50p. So, um, um, it, 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 in my mind, that, that is the no-brainer, um, and I'm looking forward to getting that. But, uh, no, it's a, it, it's a nice series. I, quite, I, 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 I like these three coins. But um, we'll come back to how about it, about it all whizzing past um, soon. But uh, the other one is the HMS Belfast £2 coin. We finally had images of that come out. Yeah, that's true. Any, any thoughts on that? I think that it looks good, but in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it would look better if they didn't have that random planet in the top right, and had, okay. or whatever it is, and had the text going, you know, the proper way around the coin. Having said that, it's something different, but... For me, the top right of it doesn't work, but the rest of the design, I think it looks great. It's a nice sort of close-up I'm action having, shot. I'm having to scroll off the planet. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, the globe. Yeah, I know. I, I really like it. I think it's a really nice design. Again, there's action and motion in the design. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, having that. Um, not, I was about to say finding that in circulation, but obviously that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, really nicely designed coin. Um, I'm looking forward to the mass confusion of people referring to the Navy Centenary still as the HMS <laughs> Belfast. And they're actually being a HMS Belfast, which is not the same coin. Yeah. Um, although very similar looking ships. But um, they are. Yeah, no, I, 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 it's, an, it's another one I'm quite excited for. But uh, uh, speaking of imminent releases, that's, that's two we already discussed. Um, there's obviously the Paul McCartney Music Legends, which again... I assume we'll have an imminent release. I don't think we've seen that one yet, but um, again, it's 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 a coin that I have real hope that it has potential because the Music Legends series sort of died a bit of a death with the Rolling Stones, the Police, Dame Shirley Bassey, um, but whatever the Royal Mint did with the George Michael one, um, that was incredibly popular. If yeah. they can replicate the marketing, some of the spiel. Um, uh, the gump to sell the, the George Michael coin, they can replicate that with the Paul McCartney one. It um, has a chance of being a really popular coin, which is what we want to see. We want to see coins selling. And again, I think it comes down to the Royal Mint need to market to the people who are going to buy the coins outside of coin collectors because we'll all find out about it and those of us that buy it will buy it. But it's the, it's the George Michael fans that made that really popular. Yeah, that's true. The people that will just collect any uh, memorabilia. Yeah, yeah. potentially people that have never bought a coin before buying quarter ounce, one ounce gold proofs because they love the whatever the theme is. But uh, hopefully they can replicate that with Paul McCartney and hopefully it's not just a total flop. But um, of course there's the red arrows as well. What's happened to that 50p? I haven't seen it. That's the only one I was interested in. Obviously being aviation, etc. I haven't seen any pictures. Yeah, given that we are at the start of December with four releases still to go, it's uh, and obviously annual sets which will be very quick into the new year. Um, it's getting a, a little bit concerning <laughs> about how many coins are coming out, isn't it? Why don't they just? Do you know what? I'm just going to foreshadow the design. They're going to have three arrows on a coin, and then the color version is going to be just red, just literally just three red arrows. Well, they'll be the planes, won't it? I know, but not just it wouldn't arrows. Surpri- honestly, at this point, it wouldn't surprise me. If they just had three arrows on a coin, <laughs> call them but it's sort arrows. of the 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 mass of things still to come, and what you spoke about with the the uh, Ice Age giants flying past is maybe sort of in the last few weeks. Look forward to next year as to what I might be buying, and at times I've thought about quite considerably pairing back what I'm buying. Um, 
I know at the moment I I buy all the BUs, all the silvers, and those one fortieth one forty well yeah one fortieth ounce gold coins. Thankfully, they seem to be uh, diminishing and not being so they're not going to be uh, as many of those. But uh, I was seriously considering stopping buying the silver proofs because there is just so much that comes out. It is absolutely monumental the amount of coins that are coming out and the fact that yeah. nothing goes into circulation really erodes my excitement because when a coin we used to release it was really exciting yeah to be able to buy it and get it and then eventually find it but i'm finding i'm finding they less almost and less feel excitement. like coins they feel like tokens that's the problem yeah and i'm fine i am finding less and less excitement when we get these new releases especially with the, like things we can pre-order and you you, you pre-order on the first one and then just come, the rest of them just tumble out uh, from the raw men through your letterbox so um i'm not quite sure where i'm going to land yeah. next year um whether it's just i'm just going to buy bu's and then i think it's like, well maybe i'll just buy the things that i like but the problem is i'm a bit of a completionist <laughs> so if i if i just buy what i like i'll end up buying That's everything kind of anyway the logic that i apply with silver proofs i seldom buy the silver proofs ever i don't really buy many at all but you know when the odd one comes out that i think i really like i think the only silver proof that i bought this year was the team gb 50p because mm -hmm. i just had to have it <laughs> yeah um, see i'm not sure i could i'm not sure i could be trusted myself yeah. if i look back to this this year and i think about all the different coins what could i have <laughs> decided not to buy like the buckingham palace five pound coin but then again i really like that design um the national portrait gallery one again it's a it's, it's not one that's I don't know if people have been overly excited for but again I really like the design on that and again yeah. I don't know I just I just don't think if I, <laughs> I've got to be hard, hard and fast with the rules I think um, yeah it's worked for me but then again yeah my budget isn't infinite as well so that's partly helping as well <laughs> yeah um, but yeah I think that it's definitely the case that when I first got into the coin collecting hobby say like or years ago or whatever you know buying coins regularly i used to buy everything and it, it was you'd be so excited you'd have to queue up to go on the wrong yeah. website um you know you'd only get a couple coins released for each denomination each year um i think 2020 was when the floodgates really opened with like these sets you know you have like the winnie the pooh sets you know the dinosaurs this that and the other yeah nine coin sets it's yeah uh... Outside of the Olympic 50p's, you didn't see anything like that before. That's it. Whereas now, I kind of, if I'm honest, I, I sort of, I pay attention to what's being released, but there's no interest for me to, oh, I'm going to buy that one straight away, or I'm going to buy that one. It will just come to the point where eventually I'll think, oh, I haven't got that coin yet, let me go and just buy one. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. Because I've been, again, I've been reflecting on it and I'm trying to make a decision because i think at the, at the start of a new year is a good is a good time to make the chop and make that decision whether i'm going to be quite as um active ah, in everything that comes out that i buy have you bought the, uh, the lunar new year 2025 dated coin uh maybe what was it well, I can't remember, but <laughs> you're committed to 2025 dated coins now that's it yeah i think so i think i think like series that i've bought so i would carry on my tudor beasts so i would carry on um i don't know whatever whatever current series that is again this is, it just goes to show i've well, no idea what's you, up you, what's up if you up use that coming. logic the problem is that you'll end up most coins are part of a series so you'll end up with one or two that you don't have and it'll be like i'm just gonna buy them because you're the the completionist is yeah. that you are. <laughs> no, it's true. But it does make me worry because, like, I feel I'm quite... I, I'm excited about coins. I'm very passionate about coins. And I think, well, what about all these people that maybe just have a passing interest in it? Not everyone... Not the majority of coin collectors aren't going to be laser-focused um, and as excited about new releases as maybe I am. So if I'm getting a bit unmotivated by it all, um, Although, what, what hope does that have for... Do you think that that might have something to do with just how... Uh, in depth you are with coin collecting in the sense of obviously Britannia Coin Company, you know, your YouTube channel I guess it's the same what, what I'm trying to say is um, for example before I used to make coin videos I used to binge watch 50p coin hunting but now when I make my own videos and I do my own streams and I hunt through the coins I don't quite have that itch to scratch if you, if you see what I mean so perhaps for people yeah, that aren't that. as into I, it, I, the novelty still there I, yeah, I don't know. I think it's, it's a little bit different 
buying the new coins because there isn't sort of a substitute for that. Like right. make, making your own videos is the substitute for watching other videos, whereas there's no substitute for new coins. I think what it would take is more things going into circulation, and I know lots of us agree with that. Oh, but honestly, again, that would make I just, it would make them so much more exciting. I just really less is more as well. I, yeah, less is less is a lot more, and I hope just again we won't see the if any benefits from it until probably long into the next few years. But I just hope that the uh, reaction to the salmon mintage figure just ignites yeah. a spark at the Royal Mint to, you know, go down that path of whoever's decision it is to go down low minted coins. Yeah. Because clearly there's Again, still that, the that, 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 it, it, it gets you buying it, doesn't it? It's it's in circulation. It's going to be rare. Oh, I'll buy the BU version as well and the silver version and other bits and pieces. I've never seen the um, coin collecting community as, you know, as uh, alive as it was. <laughs> When, buzzing. Yeah, literally buzzing. You know, when you think that coin collecting is, has fallen flat on its face <laughs> and then all of a sudden you go on social media and it's just absolutely, you know... Um, wall to wall salmons. That's it. it. It's just going crazy for the salmons. Um, yeah, I think that hopefully lessons are learned from that. <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, we rambled on long enough on my half. We're going to continue the conversation over on Grossi's channel and we'll uh, have a look to see who got the best coins. Well, there we go, our finds for today. We've got a couple of the key dates, the 2008 uh, garden design, which are quite nice. Um, a couple from the Isle of Man, uh, Russian Abbey. Lovely design, that one. And then we've got the uh, clock face. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, there we go, Castle Russian Clock. Very cool. One from Jersey. Lighthouse. 2012 dated. But for me, the star find is this Calpe house. What a stunning design this is from Gibraltar. A lovely, lovely coin. So I am chuffed to got my hands on that. Well, as we said, head over to Gracie's half of the video to see whether he found better coins than I. I think it's a bit of a challenge today. I got very, very lucky. Um, as usual as well, you'll find links in the description across to my coin collecting Discord server if you'd like to come and join that. There are also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, company I work for as my day job, so please check them out as well. All it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.